Oh, what are the chances that cultures. people on separate continents, and by those separate continents, I mean Africa and South America, around the same time period were building pyramids that were aligned with similar constellations, and there was no like seafaring, they, neither of them were seafaring cultures, the Egyptians and the Mayans, but they were both building pyramids aligned in similar fashions on totally separate continents around the same period of time, like within a relatively small window of time. <laughs> what are the chances? Yeah. But it, it's... It, <laughs> So, but the sea, the sea uh, bearing thing though is one that kind of uh, is tricky to me because now like they're showing evidence that they may have been traveling the seas at yeah. that time. But it was the uh, Phoenicians, I uh, think, Phoenicians. Are the earliest civilization. Yes, they because about. Uh, there's one. I just learned about this like two weeks ago. I never knew this place existed. But uh, in New Hampshire, they have what they call America's Stonehenge, mm-hmm. and it has a lot of the sim- similar characteristics of the one in England. Whenever it comes to stones being aligned with the stars and all that, but it also has like sacrificial tables, mm-hmm. and the list goes on and on and on. But it's this amazing site that they think was constructed about four thousand years ago, mm-hmm. and it ha- like they can't. It doesn't match anything that the Native Americans had going on. It doesn't match anything that our European ancestors would have had. But it does match a lot of the Polynesians. And they think that that group of people, they don't exactly know how advanced they were. Mm-hmm. So they could have very well, well been traveling been, the seas. That's always been my thing, that too, point. is like, you know, there were cars that were built in the 50s. It was only a relatively short amount, like a one human lifespan ago. 70 years ago that have now sat in yards and rusted away to the point that you would n- hardly be able to tell that they were there. So over the course of 4,000 years, like who knows what all has disappeared? Who knows how exactly. advanced those civilizations were? And, and that's There's no what, way to know. And I, dude, I get into this argument so much with people because, yeah, whenever it comes to structures like Stonehenge if or they align Machu them with Picchu, stars that well, they weren't stupid. Not well, well, but but, were, but also <laughs> back then, that's all they had going for them. Right. So like I think that has to do with like the stars, but like you you had some weird stuff when it comes to the watchers or just people that they said visited them. Mm. But uh, you ever do any research on the uh, Nazca lines down in Peru? Oh yeah, Those yeah. Big pictures, and people just thought, well, that's a weird looking dog or that's a weird looking monkey. It turns out they're directly related to specific constellations. Yeah. And also, how do you sky. design something like that without being able to get an From aerial the ground, view yeah. of it? From it, the ground, it, they it, designed it, it. Wait, is that the one like where it's like these big uh, images in the side of mountains that like are only visible well, are from on, the like, air? The plains in Peru, yeah. they're like they're in the big, plateaus giant, too. Like yeah. you got rising plateaus. Mastodon yeah. talks about they, in some of their lyrics. And mm-hmm. uh, uh, oh man, what else they have? They have what look like runways. Yeah, big well, <clears throat> long straight runways. Mon- a monkey, a couple of dogs. Boys, we have jumped birds. straight down the rabbit hole in here. I love, we? It. I love it. <laughs> See, this is right up my alley. But to to let's me, get weird. <laughs> hey, I, let's get weird. I don't care. See, but but I, I like I like to uh, think of the possibility though that there have been catastrophic events that have took place and basically put us back in the, in Dude, the Stone the, Age. The Hindu yeah. holy books, like if you look at them, like they they talk about. Well, spaceships yeah. in the sky having nuclear battles. Yeah. Uh, well, what was that? Uh, the battle of uh, R- R- Rajin? I forget. I can't remember the names <clears throat> yeah. of any of them, but like I know yeah. that the ships that they refer to specifically, I remember those were called Vimanas. Yeah. And, and there's like explanations of how they worked and stuff in there. Like, yeah. But, but like you were saying, though, and that's my one argument for lost civilizations. A lot of what we have nowadays, the shirts that we're wearing, us as a whole, all of this that's around us right now is not going to stand the test of time. Mm-hmm. But what does, if it's not purposely destroyed by human beings or in a catastrophic event or whatever, is stone structures. And that's why the pyramids, the uh, Stonehenge, Machu Picchu, all these old ancient sites are still there. And what's even crazier to think about is, <clears throat> excuse me, is one day in a few thousand years, if there is another catastrophic event that puts us back in the Stone Age, one day Mount Rushmore is going to be like the Great Pyramids of Giza. And that's pretty, that's pretty crazy, crazy to think, think about. about. For sure. Yeah. For sure. They're going to unearth George Washington's yeah. head at some well, point. Like, here's another like, question. Well, there were people here's here. another well, question. Well, like, well, they, well they, done, they done that right, though, because apparently, and this isn't just in the National Treasure movie, this is a real thing. They like, in, in Mount Rushmore, there's this area that they have 
like that's sealed off that has nothing but artifacts from America. Mm -hmm. So whenever people do find it, yeah, they're going to find a lot of what we were if it isn't all lost by then. Mm -hmm. I'll find a mixtape with, I am a real American. Yeah. <laughs> the right uh, be like, wow, go. this, this place go. was awesome. That's yeah. what I'm talking really about. Great. Hulk Hogan <laughs> yeah, see, dancing around to it, like obviously fake miming on a guitar. <laughs> Yeah. But I heard a great Love quote it. the other day, and I've probably said this before on here, but uh, it was from Einstein. He said, I don't know what World War III will be fought with, but I know that World War IV will be fought with sticks and stones. Mm -hmm. Whew, man, that's mm -hmm. a good quote. He he, good uh, quote. he wrote that while he was working on the Manhattan Project. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. While they were building the atom bombs, man. <laughs> so even Einstein's like, hey, God, I'm... I'm <laughs> yeah, dude, he knew it was a bad idea. All, a lot of those guys knew it was a bad idea. A terrible like, idea that's what I said. They, they thought that they might set the atmosphere on fire, but you know what? Like, it's all good. Well, let's try it anyway. <laughs> There's a whole lot of atmosphere. It's going to be hard to set it all on atmosphere. fire. <laughs> It, man, the math was there. Like I've I've read about that to a pretty healthy. I'm also I love history, man. Yeah, and it's, I love it's especially the un, the untold parts of history that you don't mm -hmm. learn in a in an elementary school textbook that you have to look for yourself. <laughs> well, well, nowadays history, in my opinion, it almost shouldn't even be taught in school because yeah. they're rewriting history every single day. If you're going to teach history in school, mm -hmm. you're going to have to do it on a day-to-day -day basis because they're rewriting history every single day. Mm -hmm. Like they found some I think um, it's dangerous. We don't there's get, a lot of misinformation. We don't, yeah, there is history. We get the subjective history according to our government at the time. The winner yeah. writes the history books. Mm -hmm. I love that quote. <clears throat> but uh yeah, I mean, like they think that uh there was human beings here in America 130,000 years ago because they found mastodon bones in San Francisco, and like the mastodon bones were cracked open, and the only creature that could have done that at the time were humans, and like another bone was like put into the ground vertically. Again, we're the only ones that could have done that. It's uh, and that rewrites all of history right there. Or you know, like the the various other offshoots of primate evolution that. It may have been killed out or died out by Homo sapiens. Yeah, up to exactly. this point, you know, there were the Denisovans and like Neanderthals are a little bit different than Homo sapiens. Cro-Magnons are a little bit different. There was a lot of interbreeding, but there could have been an entirely different branch of evolution of human that was here at that time. Yeah, even when, hey, you know, three but, years ago down in Peru, they were going through some of those old structures and stuff, and they come across some bodies. Some of them are really small. But one of them was the size of a full-grown female adult. Mm -hmm. It had three fingers, three toes, and an elongated skeleton. They dated it 1,800 year plus years old, at least wow. 1,800 years old, covered in a dust that dried it out and preserved it and kept it so well preserved that all the internal organs were still there and everything. That's weird. They've DNA tested it. They don't know what it is because it's not human, but it's there. They found yeah. it. It's there. It exists somewhere. Well, well see, so that's that's another thing. You know, like who? Are, why with all these different types of animals and subspecies of animals? Uh, dragons, I mean, dude. Yeah, dragons well, very well could have existed. Who knows? If they could fly, they probably had hollow. Well, I'm gonna let me let me say this because I, I I'm a big fan of dragons because dragons <laughs> are dope. But dragons definitely could have existed. A lot of cultures around the world would talk about them at the same time. What are you doing to me right now? Oh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Okay, but if they could fly, dude, they probably had hollow bones like birds, and those are not going to be preserved in fossils. Why do all these different cultures have dragons? Why do you think they have hollow bones, though? Huh? Why do they you think flew? they have For the fact that they flew. Like, do that's birds how birds, have hollow bones? Yes, yeah. that's how birds are able to fly. That's how their really? weight is low enough, to, and they still have the bone structures that. that have wings that large because their bones are hollow. Yeah, man, look at huh. the thing about the inside of a plane. It's hollow. The wings yeah. hollow. And, and and but also though, like they might not have been as big as everybody says they were either. They may not you know? Hashtag Dragon Gate. 